Hello masterminds, it's time for me to react to some more funny videos. I'm filming a funny YouTube video for my ripped pants. Oh. Yeah, it's totally not real. <laughs> Thank you for calling Chris in Walmart. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you guys have like a Valentine's Day stuff there already. Oh yeah, we have Valentine's stuff out. Yeah. I'm not the most romantic guy. I've never had like a girlfriend for Valentine's Day before. <laughs> do you have any recommendation for what I should do to make like a waterfall in the panties type of thing? Well, it'd probably be candy for me because I'm a chocoholic. Oh, you you have a sweet tooth, right? Ha! I love it. I love it so much. You know. <laughs> Uh, but I, what I want to do is I want to make her oyster moister, right? <coughs> so I want to like make her very happy. So I, I'm wondering like what kind of chocolate is the best? I don't know. There's chocolate. There's stuffed animals, cards, all kinds of stuff. You just need to come in here and look. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what what is your favorite chocolate? Oh, I'm, I don't know. Do you like the one that look like the Mosaic, like the gold one, like the one that Ferrero Matto to share? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, which one am I talking about? I don't mm. even know if you heard me right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, uh, you just tried to get rid of me like that. Are you married or you, are you single? Oh, I gotta go. I got customers here. Oh, uh, but you were about to tell me, then you changed your mind. I'm just wondering, like, I... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have a car. Like you. you are silly like goose. You, you are the silly goose, you know that. You don't have anybody there. Like, it's just me and you, baby. All right? Uh, I gotta go. I know, but, like, look, okay, I have one more question because you're supposed to help me like, save money and live better, right? Okay. Well, uh, but basically, uh, I was wondering if somebody already have the key to your heart, or if there's some wiggle room to to, to get the key myself. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but I know, but okay, do I have to call back so we can reset the clock and then we can talk more? People at Walmart, like, low-key love me. Hey, yeah, uh, hello, uh, I was just wondering if you guys have Valentine stuff in stock there? No, not right now. Oh, okay, but it's so close to Valentine's Day. Like, what happened? Yeah, they haven't sent us anything. Uh, but okay, well, tell me from a woman's perspective, what is the most romantic candy you have it in stock? Snickers is good. A uh, Snickers is good. Okay. Uh, what about the Skittles or the Butterfinger? Um, Butterfinger, yes. Sweet Tarts. 
with the creamy stuff in the middle. Will she think like the cream stuff is like romantic? Because I, I want her, sorry my, I, the language barrier, I just, I want her to know that I wanting to, to bust some nuts, right? <laughs> Uh, hello. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the build up to that and her f losing it. Thank you for calling Walmart. I'm at the call. Uh, I just came into the country uh, on my jet and this is the closest store to me. Uh, I was just wondering, do you guys do stuff for the Valentine Day uh, holiday? Do we do stuff for the Valentine's Day? Yeah, right. Like, do we have like bears and chocolate? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, like right, right, yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. Okay, and uh, would you possibly be able to give me like uh, your opinion as as a as a lady of what would be a good gift f f for a woman? Like you know, because over in the Middle East, you know, it really the woman just does everything for the guy, but I guess over here we have to do nice things too. So I was just wondering oh. like w what I should get her. Uh, it just depends on the woman. You have to know her to know what to get her. Yeah, but it's really like I haven't. Been, whenever she talks, I, 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 it might sound kind of mean. I just I don't pay attention, so I don't know what she likes. But, uh, um, but what would you recommend possibly that you cannot go wrong? I don't know. I would say flowers because I like flowers myself personally. But she might not like flowers, so they might be the wrong gift. You have to know the woman. Okay, I'm making a note here. Flower, like one flower or like a whole, whole lot? A dozen. Okay, a dozen. <laughs> like a bouquet. Uh, oh, the bouquet. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, and then w w should I tell her that I want to commit to her forever? Is it just like a time to p propose or or or? <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't get. <laughs> so you're not with her? Y'all not together? Uh, this is my uh, what do they call it in America? This is my uh, my side my side dish. Uh, I don't know how. Not too far. You wait. I'm sorry, sir. No. Okay, I don't know how to help you because you know. I'm sorry. But just to explain, sorry, my English is not the best. She, she's like my appetizer while I'm on business in America. Like, she's just like, I'm gonna be here for a month. Wow. Yeah, but uh, what was your name? Oh, well, I'm not able to give that information over the phone. But I, I hope uh, today I was able to help you. With well, well I, I was just trying to say, like, usually before my main course, I have like two or three appetizers. So I still have room for two more. In case you want me to come in, I can come say hello. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I have a main course at home. I'm good. Oh, okay. You already have a main course. Do you have dessert too, or are you, are you looking? Oh, yeah. All in one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, hello? <laughs> That's honestly like. She was actually like a great person to talk to. Like, it was like, the side dish. You fucking lost it. Give you some pointers for the big night. So, if you're feeling adventurous, follow this. You need a really nice, robust tart. What we're looking for is a really nice, broad, the most popular bird in the country. <laughs> Flexible body, semi firm breasts, but quite bouncy. And then just lift up the skirt, and they get excited, so they look wet. <laughs> Open up the legs, two beautiful thighs, three fingers. Get your hand and always treat your hand like a sort of whisk. Push your fingers in there and it's <laughs> nice and moist and smelling very fragrant. And that confirms she's ready for up and down motion. That's not rocket science, is it? That's common sense. Do not be scared about the bottom. Don't worry. <laughs> That's class as the dark brown Rolls Royce part. It's full of flavor. So treat it with some respect and get really nice and comfortable. And then turn her over and bang up the butt. <laughs> mm. And this is where you need a small knob. Imagine you're holding a tennis racket or a little whisk. And then, confident grip, firm push, 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 push. Straight in the butt. Crack. And get it in there. And just up and down. Up and down. It feels and sounds a little bit weird. And it's so easy to cream in literally minutes. <laughs> now, the secret now is to make sure that we definitely don't go for a pee. Mm. Hold back and wait. <laughs> mm. 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 And then bang, out, bang, it pops out. You get to release it from the bottom and just drip <laughs> a really nice white creamy <laughs> liquid down the bottom to give it some form of decoration. <laughs> just almost like a little tap and just let it drizzle out. Now. Don't touch your face, especially your eyes. It <laughs> smells like a fish. It's strong, it's slightly sour, 
but it's creamy and it's packed with fucking grease. <laughs> that smells amazing. That smells amazing. This is my home. This is my sticky penis. <laughs> this is my wife Tilly. These are the only recipes you'll ever need. Breakfast, lunch, and Jack's penis. <laughs> and I love a giant penis as well. Megan, she's getting stuck in penis. That'll keep the penis nice and slightly runny. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it gets too dense and it's unappetizing. There's no wonder I never catch any fish. Because I'm always too busy eating the sweet, firm, meaty flesh of my ultimate four centimeter black penis. <laughs> I'll be using my delicious, sweet, soft white tilly. This is a stunning, beautiful. But we're not going to slice it. We're going to cut the top off. And then an inch from the crust, and go around, scoop out meaty flesh. Just when your guests think that you're cutting up a delicious. Look at that baby. Wow. And Tilly's king to get you. What are your favourites? A marshmallow and penis cake. What's the one thing that you love about a picnic? I love eating out naked fishes. Bring this in, please. And it's called a fridge cake because you can sit in the fridge. It doesn't really smell of fishes. And the first time you have it, it's like, whoa, it's really... That's why it's called speed. It looks a bit naked. Keep it in a little penis out. Boom, comes off. Firm, juicy baby Jack. What about the naked? <laughs> you dress the bottom of your penis. You, you'll understand it when you're my age. Next time, food that tickles your penis with a crack in the bank. Bang. <laughs> All right, masterminds, that's enough on the videos for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Remember, be smart for your heart. Good night.